Hey, VC, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to post a quick video here. I'm actually going to do a response to my 2,500 subscribers contest. Um, you know, it's about halfway through now, so I just wanted to kind of, again, jump in and do my quick response. I have gotten a few responses already, and I was trying to go through and kind of sort those out today. Uh, as I'm sure as many of you know, if you've been reading some of my comments, you know, I hate the way they switched up the whole YouTube thing and don't have, you know, the nice video response thing. So I just want to kind of throw this out there. So in case I haven't seen your video yet, I don't mention your name, uh, shoot me a message in, you know, in this video here so I can make sure I go check out your video. But I've stumbled across videos from Adam, uh, Robert Z, uh, let's see, Chad Everett, uh, Sean... Bobby Gass, and then also Blake, Blake Wilcox. So those are the ones that I have down as people that have done video responses. For those of you that have done them, and again, I didn't mention your name, you know, the whole new YouTube thing, I apologize, but just shoot a message down below here and say, you know, I did a video, and I'll go to your channel and find it. But uh, anyway, this is my response to the video, which was the support cast, basically, was the video. Actually, now I think about it, what exactly what title did I put on it? Totally forgetting that. Um, that's a shame. I need to go back and look at my own. Okay, yeah, uh, contest, 2,500 subs, contest supporting cast. That's what, I, that's what I called it. So basically what it was was just to kind of go in and pull out albums, songs, whatever, where there was something that was kind of in the background of the song, that, or the album or whatever that really kind of is a very strong, attractive piece to you within the music itself, but yet it's not really the forefront of the song, like you know the lead singer just singing lead vocals or whatever. So uh, I kind of mentioned you can interpret it any way you want, just to kind of you know whatever you feel comes out of you, go for it. So I'm just gonna do that really quick. Oh, playing in the background, we have typo negative. In case you're curious. Dead Again, very good stuff, 2 LP set, this is on a, what I refer to as radioactive vinyl, green vinyl that is, but that's what's playing, so anyway, I pulled out a bunch, I have kind of my top three, if you will, but as always, I have to cheat a little bit and just kind of pull out some of the other ones that come to mind, um, first one here, Cam, this is a song, a peace treaty. This is actually the, you know, the 12 inch. And very cool thing about this song that's kind of in the background, there it's almost used like a looped instrument type thing. But there's some guy in the background that's just singing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's yeah, like he repeats it three times and it just keeps looping over and over. But I remember way back when this song even first came out, back in like my high school college days, like. That, that is just what made the song, was that, that yeah, yeah loop that, that takes place inside of the song. So that was definitely one. Uh, let's see. Second one here, we're going to Bruce Springsteen, and it's the song Tunnel of Love. And the, the background, if you will, the supporting cast in that song was the, uh, I can't even say it, it's the word, it's just kind of like that at the very end of the song where they go into like that that hell, it's not even really a hum as much as a, I guess a ooh that they were kind of saying, I mean but I mean those of you who know that song, you know, probably know that pretty well but I just always thought that that ending going into the song was just one of the most beautiful things that really takes that song just kind of soaring at the end and then the, the, the sha na -nas they do at the very end, it's just, I mean I don't know, that always made the song for me so uh Great backing vocals in that. Definitely good supporting cast for that song. Shy Day. There's a lot of different ones you can choose from with her. Um, you know, because there's a. You know, I've always said this about Shy Day. She's not a very good singer at all, but she makes great, beautiful music. But uh, you know, she's very kind of, really almost monotone to just to some degree. But what that does is it also creates for kind of great backing vocals because the person that's kind of floating behind her doesn't really have to be 
you know, an Aretha Franklin or something in order to be a great support and compliment to her. And so there's a few guys that sing backing vocals sometimes and just flow so just kind of right under her in a very beautiful way. And songs like Bulletproof Soul are perfect. It's a perfect example of that. So uh, that's definitely a supporting cast that I like to pick there. Prince. Of course, the song Diamond, Diamonds and Pearls. Actually, that's about the wrong one. This is the most beautiful girl in the world. Although, you, I think it's the same chick, though. But uh, I thought I was pulling out Diamonds and Pearls. And, of course, the, the woman that's singing with Prince on that, you know, great backing vocals. And actually, when they get to the chorus, she kind of takes over a little bit. Prince becomes the backing vocal more so in the, in the chorus. But uh, anyway, Better Off Dead, one of my favorite 80s movies. One of my favorite movies, 80s movie soundtracks. And the song Arrested by You by Rupert Hines. And I actually really didn't realize this until I started paying attention to this particular contest. But, again, when they go into the chorus, the backing vocals that follows him just in the chorus, my favorite part of that entire song. And when I was looking on the credits on here, it was saying all vocals and instrumentals by Rupert Hines. So I guess he you know, record his voice and did the whole tracking thing, and I never realized it was him that was singing background vocals on his own, you know, on his own song, kind of like Marvin Gaye did with uh, Let's Get It On, which is one I should have pulled out as well, but that's definitely a great supporting cast, even though it was kind of still one guy, might have been cheating a little bit there, Lost Boys, of course the song, uh, Cry Little Sister, um, the theme from the Lost Boys by what? Oh, Gerard McMahon, and of course the supporting cast there is kind of the kids' voice in the background singing, you know, "Thou Shall Not Fall." Um, you know, again, that, that that just that little thing that those those kids do uh, underneath the chorus just gives it that real creepy, eerie, uh, just cuts up, adds a power to it, and so that's definitely one of my favorite supporting cast there. This is not so much an artist, but it's one that I always think about every time I listen to this song. MCA, Minister Society. I mean, this is your typical, you know, 90s, early 90s, you know, when rap started getting into the, everything with shoot 'em up, bang, bang, and all that crap. But uh, one thing I really liked about this, even though this is one of those shoot 'em up, bang, bang songs, the, the keyboards that flow in the background of this actually add just this this undeniable beauty to the song, where if you took away his lyrics, I mean, it would really almost be, it doesn't sound like it, but it gives me almost a jazz-like feeling when I listen to it. Uh, I don't know, it's just something about those those notes that, that those keyboards are playing that uh, it almost doesn't belong with the song, but at the same time, it brings it together in a great way. So uh, whoever was playing those in the back is a you know, great supporting cast on that song. Sheila E. This is Romance 1600. And uh, the song on here, of course, is Love Bazaar. And those that know Sheila E., I'm sure you know right off the bat, uh, this was kind of that time frame when she was kind of, uh, I don't know if it was dating or whatever else, but her and Prince were kind of, like, doing things together in terms of just, like, you know, interacting, hanging out musically and all different kind of things. I mean, it's kind of no secret. Right? You can see by the cover there, she was very, uh, the whole band was very Prince and the Revolution influenced at that point in time. But on the song Love Bazaar, Prince is the one that sang background vocals. Um, and again, it was just one of those things where maybe you don't pay attention to it, but, you know, the song is really good. You may start to start to wonder why, and then you start getting that feel of, yeah, there's, there's Prince floating right underneath it. Especially this one part in the center, and it always ticks me off. Because, of course, I love the movie Crush Groove, and Sheila E. was in Crush Groove. And she performed this song in Crush Groove, like she was performing it live at a club. Well, the problem is when Prince's parts came in, this guy in the movie was lip-syncing it. And it just always ticked me off, because it's just like, there's no use in trying to fake Prince, especially in the middle of, the, of a Prince's kind of a, 
reverberating solo in the middle where he does his, you know, that, that yah scream that Prince does, that only Prince does. And he tried to do it in the movie. And it was like, what's the point? It, it's Prince. Don't try to, don't even begin to try to imitate that or, or lip sync. It just makes you look stupid because you don't look like, I guess he kind of looks like him, though, but it's like you're not Prince. But anyway, I'm getting way off base there, but I always think about that when I hear that song, because to this day, if I watch that movie and see that scene, it still bugs the heck out of me. <laughs> but, uh, so, Prince singing background to Sheila E. on Love Bazaar. Jermaine Jackson, one of my favorite songs out of his solo career is Tell Me I'm Not Dreaming," And one of the things that made that song a hit was Michael Jackson singing in the background slash coming in on the second verse completely made that song. So uh, that's definitely a great one. Cindy Lauper. Uh, a lot of different places on this album, there's different things you can choose. Whoever the guy is that sings background under stuff like Time After Time and um, All Through the Night and stuff like that, and I actually didn't even look up his name to see who it was. But, uh, was it her, like, her boyfriend at the time, or producer or something? Which I think maybe one of the things, I don't know, I'm not that familiar on her history and all of that. But whoever that guy was, the backing vocals that he would do, uh, in contrast to Cindy Lauper's very high, you know, high tone voice, um, definitely a very, very, very good supporting cast on that album. Latina. Going back to the, the kid thing, the you know, when you go into the chorus of this this song, or the song by Marquita I should say, which is Toy Soldiers, you know, the the step by step or what you want you come out and play with me, the that those like the way those kids say it, it's almost Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street like and everything, but that little piece just adds I don't know, a significant punch to the song. And, you know, they only do it like three or four times, maybe not even that, maybe three times throughout the song where they say, will not you come out and play with me? And it's just a, a nice small touch to really bring something out in the song. All right, so my top three. So those are ones I just pulled out and had to show, but these are the actual three that I picked. Best Supporting Cast. I talked about this one when I was actually making the video. Laura Branigan, the song Self Control. The guys that sing the backing vocals on the chorus and all they say over and over is, you take myself, you take my self-control, it's just, I don't know, with, with the song and her voice and the way those guys just kind of just float right behind her, that's my favorite part of the song is listening to them sing that background vocal. So uh, that's number three on my list there. Yeah, there we go. Laura Branigan and Typo Negative. Your brain doesn't know what to do with that information right now. Um, number two on my list. Um, number two here. Rockwell, somebody's watching me. And everyone knows, as much as he doesn't want to admit it or whatever else, that song became a hit because of one man, and it's Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson came in and sang, I believe, seven words on this song. Seven words, and he made it a hit. And, uh, of course, that was the chorus when he said, I always feel like somebody's watching me. And, I mean, I don't know. That, that, that was dang near actually lead. I mean, <laughs> even though it was just those seven words in the chorus, that was pretty much the lead on the song. But... I would say from a supporting cast standpoint, that would have to be number two on my list. Because again, Rockwell became an absolute star because of that supporting cast of Michael Jackson. And last but not least, this is one that, uh, Bobby, that's what I was looking at here. When I rambled up those names earlier, did I say Bobby? Did I say your name? Is what person I also saw a video of. If I didn't, I did see your video, Bobby. And one of the reasons why that came to mind is because my number one pick was actually one that you had in your video. And it was Sam Cooke. And I think probably the greatest supporting cast of all time was Lou Rawls singing backing vocals on the 
bring it on home. That that is just I don't know. It, it, it's perfect. You you could not do backing vocals any better than Lou Rawls did on a bring it on home or bring it on home to me. I'm sorry. Um, it's just just perfection, absolute perfection. And so that that is my number one pick for best supporting cast, right there. All right. So and like I said, I think Bobby picked that picked that one too uh, inside of his video. So great minds think alike. There were a couple of other ones that. I guess I just kind of realized I don't have the CDs anymore. You guys remember a few years ago I went through a CD selling phase and I have some stuff on my iTunes. But these are some I realized I didn't still have on CD. Uh, I don't have the Rockstar CD, the soundtrack anymore, but one song on there, We All Die Young, the, uh, back, the background vocals on that, again, great, great supporting cast on that one. Uh, American Pie, I think it was the first first American Pie. I don't remember the name of the, the girl who sings it. It's on my iTunes. I should look it up. But anyway, the song Good Morning Baby. I think the guy that was singing background on that is the guy from Semisonic. Again, I'll take my word for it, but the, the guy that was singing backgrounds on that song Good Morning Baby, absolutely beautiful. Perfect, perfect supporting cast there. And then the, the girls who sang background on uh, I Could Fall in Love by, uh, what's her name? Oh, gosh, totally going brain dead here. I can't get Celine Dion out of my head now, so I can't think of her name. Anyway, I'm sure many know who I'm talking about. Uh, the girl that was shot by her, her manager, uh, the Latin star. Why am I going totally brain dead on that? Anyway... That's one, too. The uh, the background vocals on I Could Fall In Love. Very, very beautiful supporting cast there as well. So, whew, okay. Those are my picks. That's my response to my own contest. And again, if uh, those of you that haven't uh, done a response yet, jump on board. Uh, I don't have my prizes in front of me, but we have some Ramon albums, some uh, Iron Maiden tour cups. And then also some other things available as far as prizes go. So jump on board. If I didn't mention your name and you've already made a video, make sure you let me know. All right? So take care, VC.